Hello, I'm MPX, Toy Cat, and Mojang fixes hundreds of bugs every single year, but sometimes the fix is worse than the bug. This is because some bugs are so old, they actually become the predictable behavior for the game, but it's not always meant to be that way. And so here are all of the oldest bugs for Minecraft Bedrock, the 25 oldest in fact, and I guarantee that you see at least some of these as features, but they will all be fixed one day. And so just keep in mind, this isn't how these things are meant to work. And so given that these are the 25 oldest bugs. If we start with the newest of them, we end up in August of uh, 2017. And just keep in mind, I will have this fun book here so that instead of just having to read out the bug report number and the brief description, you can actually learn more about it if you feel like pausing. But speaking of pausing, you should have some pause for thought with how armor stands are affected by splash potions. Did you know you can make armor stands go invisible? This is possible because they are entities and wrongly they are affected as entities by all sorts of weird effects, including the wildest one of all to me is the withering effect. You can harm an armor stand, this doesn't make any sense in my opinion, but you can harm an armor stand to the point of killing it if you really feel like it, and should you do that? Probably not, but is it hilarious that you can? Absolutely so. This will be fixed one day, and so keep that in mind, just like how you should keep in mind that when you're fighting skeletons, you get hit by a lot of arrows, right? But notice something interesting in third person, the arrows don't stick into me, and I always thought yeah, this is because Minecraft Bedrock works correctly. I always assumed it was a bug in the console and the Java edition that you would have arrows poking out of you, but no, fun fact, this is actually a bug. It is a bug that has been known to exist since July of 2017, and I think that it is a, uh, it, it's a, it's been a postponed category, because I think that they really don't know how to deal with it either, uh, which is, I think, what they should also probably say about this next category, because this is a bug so old, you know, uh, it says June 13 of 2017, but it's existed for even longer than that, we just don't know because it was reported, and it's existed on the Java edition since much longer than that, because when you ride a minecart, the minecart is meant to turn with you, but it actually doesn't. So here is me uh, controlling my camera in a minecart. I obviously can't move in a minecart, the minecart moves me, um, but I'm not going to move my camera after I press this button, and we're going to see what happens with it. Oh. It's interesting, the minecart is turning around, but I'm staying facing the same direction. Again, if you've played Minecraft for long enough, you might just assume, yeah, that's how they're meant to work. Imagine getting thrown around, but the crazy thing is, is this is something they did get correct in the Legacy Console Edition. It's even in the trailer for that version of the game. Oh! Fun fact, this is all of the early Mojang employees, and so they were in the trailer where they know that minecarts are meant to work that way, but they never fixed it. And just in case you think, oh, but that's just the trailer, that was probably just a cinematic effect, well, here's uh, one of my videos about minecarts from fairly late on in Legacy Console Edition, and as you can see, it's actually so intense that if we look back at it, you can see that I actually had to adjust my camera back to the right, and so this is one of those bugs that you might not think of as a bug, but it is one of the very, very oldest for Java, and the 23rd oldest for Bedrock. Speaking of things that are old on Bedrock, let's move into number 22 here. Wither boss lag uh, resulting from accumulated dropped items slash blocks is a very big problem if you play on mobile, and let's show you why that is. The Bedrock Wither is harder than the Java one in quite a few ways, but one of those ways is in the fact that it will destroy many more blocks in its second phase. So, we're gonna start with a Wither that's in phase one. You know, actually, let's just skip forward to that second phase, because first of all, the, the first explosion makes a lot of blocks drop. Look at that, there's seven of them here. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, once we get the Wither down to half health, there is a second phase where the Wither explodes and does blue around her and then starts doing that dash attack. Every single one of these blocks gets dropped as an entity, and so all of the entities from the first half of the fight, plus the Wither Skeletons from the second half, plus everything else combined, just makes for a very, very slow game. It's actually very, very handy. I'm getting out of here, by the way. It's actually very, very handy if you're specifically trying to destroy an area, or specifically trying to lag your game, but those generally aren't accepted reasons, and so that is why this is a bug from May of 2017. Speaking of uh, things that are very old, did you know that sometimes mobs just vanish. Here's the closest we could simulate to that. This is one that just happens randomly, and it's been voted on a lot of times. This happens to lots of people, but it's one that's really hard for Mojang to fix because they can't probably diagnose it because it's random and therefore not consistent. Speaking of not consistent, I'm gonna uh, have a little uh, fun game with you right here 
because what do you think should happen if I grab two pieces of wheat and I breed my blue sheep with my red sheep? Genuinely, tell me what you think uh, should happen, at least in your head. Make a good prediction, because I think that you'll be surprised to learn that what happens is it randomly picks one of the two sheep and you get that color instead. What is meant to happen is it should mix these two colors, so red and blue should become purple, but that's only on the Java edition, because on the Bedrock edition, it just picks one of its parents at random. This is probably more accurate to the real world. I you know, Actually, is that accurate to the real world? I think that there's, I guess that's somewhat debatable. I'm going to go ahead and say that most people end up more like one of their parents than the other, and so red sheep is perfectly logical. And just so that sheep has something to, to fight for, I'll make sure that it doesn't have to have any bad memories of its parent. It was a good red sheep, trust me. He never did anything wrong, and so you can grow up and avenge him or something. Just like how I can grow up and avenge anyone who thinks that Enderman teleporting isn't random. So uh, Enderman teleport during the death animation is a bug from December of 2016. This was actually reported by Mega Spud, uh, one of the Minecraft Bedrock community managers, and uh, interestingly, yeah, he will teleport away while he is dying, sometimes leaving your stuff with him. This is one that's really hard to show because, again, it's not perfectly all the time, but I'm sure you've had this happen to you. You're fighting an Enderman, right, and you're desperate to get that Ender Pearl, and just as you attack him, he teleports away. He teleported just after death, so the XP's over there, uh, but it is something which causes all sorts of problems. Speaking of all sorts of problems, did you know the XP bar texture is different, especially when it's full? This is something that comes from December of 2016 uh, again, so very, very old. We're eight years old at this point, and uh, interestingly enough, this is one that I actually can't spot. It's one that uh, uh, KMB, who helped me with this video, is very, very sure that you can see between this and Java. So can you see this one? Does this look uh, like what you expect? Does the uh, does the experience bar look incredibly different to you? Because I'm not sure that it does, actually. But I, I, I'm sure. I, or I'm rather, I'm sure that it does, but I can't see it. Um, it is one of the oldest bugs. It has been confirmed. But I just can't see it personally. Can you? Speaking of things you might be able to see, this is one that I was uh, a little shocked by. Because it's, it's one that has existed in the game since 2016. But I haven't ever actually noticed. It made me a little embarrassed. Because when it's nighttime in the tundra biome, you can only find strays. They are the only mob that spawn. You're meant to be able to find other mobs too, but as you'll see looking around, it's just a bunch of straights. It's very, very strange, uh, but it is the reality of the Tundra Biome, and uh, again, it's been eight years, but I had no clue, and maybe that tells you my obs observation skills. I just assumed there were only meant to be strays in these biomes, I guess. We're getting to the point of uh, bugs that are so old that no matter how long you've been playing Minecraft for, these bugs have existed in the game for longer than they haven't, so if you can remember a time before the bugs, it would have been a long time ago, and you might just have assumed that it permanently changed, like how beacons are uh, on the better condition are only visible from 64 blocks away. This is the max distance that you, it, it's past the max distance where you'd ever get an effect from it, to be fair, but it is the minimum simulation distance, and even when you turn your simulation distance up, you still don't see it. Why is this? Well, it's because of bug MCPE 17,595, and uh, it's just a really, really goofy one. I don't understand why it's so pitiful. The point of a beacon, if there's one block that should be visible from distance, it should be the beacon. It's called a Beaker, you know, I, I could argue about this all day, every day, but instead of getting mad, I will talk about this next one here, because mobs can attack you from in a boat from any angle, even though they should be restricted like players. So here are two zombies facing away from me. I should be able to get in the boat with them, but actually, not in the boat with them, but I should be able to get behind them, but here's what happens instead. The, the zombie can attack me from behind, oh, actually, <laughs> the zombie can attack me from behind, despite the fact um, that obviously there is no way for him to be able to attack me with his arms facing that way. Um, this makes no sense. It's something they do intend to fix, but it's something they haven't fixed, and so it is just a nightmare attacking mobs right now. How, how are you doing this to me? How are you possibly attacking me at that angle? The answer is, through a bug, through a bug that has existed since September of 2016. By the way, at this point, I guess I should also throw another mention uh, to the fact that, yeah, Minecraft mobs on Bedrock attack from far too random a distance. You'll sometimes be chased by a mob outside of a boat, and it will attack you from a distance that makes no sense. And I used to think, oh, this is just how mobs work, but it's only ever happened to me on Java, and it's the most frustrating thing, and so I hope they fix that one day. Speaking of fixing things one day, did you know that mobs are meant to have a charging animation for their bows? But they just don't. Here are three mobs, all of them are going to attack me, and none of them actually drew back their bow. This exists on Java, but just not here on Bedrock. Again, I assumed it was this way. I also assumed that minecarts were meant to be this way. Did you know minecarts are meant to be stopped when they're in motion if a player comes into them? But here is me, and here is a minecart, and... Uh, 
doesn't happen, it seems. Next up, we've got the fact that if you name a magma cube or a, uh, if you name uh, a magma cube Jerry, or we name our ma uh, magma cube Mary, this is very silly. Slimes, uh, Jerry, and uh, magma cube uh, Mary. Uh, if we name these, these when they split, uh, they will not keep the name. This is a weird bug because it's one that I would be so sure is just a feature because when Jerry dies, there are four new mobs that come out of him. I wouldn't have guessed that they were meant to have the same name, but fun fact, they are. And so here is our uh, Mary, and if we were to kill him, the same thing would happen. Speaking of the same thing happening, next up we have you can swap fishing rods while the line is still cast. Have you ever tried this one before? Because I have, and I just thought, yeah, this is how Minecraft should be. Like how you can switch swords or something, you can switch fishing rods while fishing, and interestingly enough, the line will still stay there. However, there's an interesting question, which line is it that you're actually using? Which uh, fishing rod is the line from when you switch it midway through? And the answer is I don't really know. Speaking of things I don't really know, um, let's talk about the next bug, which is for a very small subset of players. It's from April of 2016, and it's the fact that auto jump doesn't work on any blocks with specific items placed on top. One of these items is very new, so this is a bug report that's been updated over the last eight years. Quite a few of these are new, in fact. But if you have auto jump turned on, this is a niche setting if you play console or uh, uh, if you play keyboard or mouse or controller, it's not that niche elsewhere. But if we go to controller, uh, auto jump is turned on, and so it means that all I have to do if I want to jump up onto one of these lecterns is walk at it. I'm not going to press jump, but there I go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that handy? But you can't auto jump onto a block that has a door on it. Why can't I do that? Because Minecraft has a bug. It will let me onto the open fence, but not through the closed fence. Minecraft auto jump is just not a perfect feature, because why can't I jump here? There's no good reason. You would be dead if this was a multiplayer server, just like how you'd be dead if your plan was to move um, a, 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 a boat uh, using another boat. So here is me in a boat and here's a pig in a boat. That boat will not move in the slightest. Again, this is just something that makes so much sense the moment Sawn describes it to you as a bug, but I just thought like, oh yeah, this is just how Minecraft works. It's just how things are going to be. It's really validating hearing that it is broken, but I've also planned my entire life around it being that way. Just like how experience bubbles, did you know these are meant to activate pressure plates? I bet you didn't know them at activate push plates. Um, but yeah, this is something that has existed since February of 2016, and it's something which is wild to me. By the way, did you know XP orbs one of the few items you can grab few the through the corners of walls? And also, did you know that XP orbs are meant to activate pressure plates? How is that possibly true? That I feel like so many redstone systems wouldn't work if XP orbs worked on pressure plates, but they do if you're playing other versions of the game, apparently. Speaking of other versions of the game, next up we have a fun one, because snow doesn't make the size texture of potsel or mycelium into snowy snow. This is a grass block with snow on the top of it. If I break the snow, it'll look like grass again, as you can see. How I, but it is a fun thing about uh, you know, grass blocks that they look like snow, but it's not what happens in mycelium. It should turn into snowy mycelium and snowy potsel, but it doesn't. It, it's very unfestive and uh, it ruins the mood of these biomes, you could say. Uh, but what I would also say is the fact that this next one was the most mind-blowing from this list. I read the bug saying the center of a double chest has a gap in its hitbox, and I was like, oh, I bet this is really tiny and you'd never be able to spot it. But um, yeah, I, you, you, I will probably find this very annoying. You're totally right. Um, you can hide your valuables in a chest under your chest if you try this just right. So here is a double chest, and here's me opening it. I've got a bunch of rotten flesh. But if you go to the very, very, very middle of it, you can see there is a space where I'm not punching the chest. I'm punching the chest now. I'm not punching the chest now. You can see it's a very, very tight space. And from here, you could access your actual secret barrels or your secret chest or whatever else. And I think that's crazy that this actually works. You can store secret chests under your chests using this bug. And it's a bug that is really, really old. It's existed since 2015. So I can't say it looks like they're fixing it anytime soon. Just like how you might be surprised to learn that this is not a feature. Okay, actually, this is the one bug that I think everyone's aware of when they see it. Did you know that when the world is generating, sometimes the leaves will be ch uh, cut off at chunk borders prior to world generation? But that's pretty obvious and pretty fun at it regardless. Also, did you know that you're not meant to be able to actually silk touch up a dirt path block? Uh, the dirt path block is not, not meant to be silk touchable. It just kind of is. So this block right here, this one that I'm holding in my hand, you shouldn't be able to access in survival. But here I am using MCPE 10,482 
It's not a very sexy name. Instead, we should just call it the Dirt Path Bug and being able to access it anyway, which means if you were uh, cautious about this one being fixed, it's something that you could work out in the future. Speaking of working things out in the future, have you ever used invisibility on a spider and noticed that the eyes stay visible? It looks pretty cool. It's one of those weird things about them. Have you also ever known that on the uh, Java edition uh, and the console edition, you'd actually have spiders which would naturally spawn with invisibility? I bet you didn't know that. But what you might want to know is the fact that spiders... Um, oh, actually, okay, so this is that bug. I was gonna... Ra okay, so I'm gonna come back for this one because I was about to reference this next bug, which is the fact that all sorts of entity overlays are meant to be visible when you put invisibility on. So, for example, um, the horse armor, the pig and strider saddles, and llama carpets should still be visible when the mobs go invisible, but they're not. You can see nothing in there. All of my mobs are in there, but all of the things that are meant to be visible aren't, because an invisibility potion wouldn't apply to your saddle, it wouldn't apply to your clothing. In fact, it doesn't apply to your clothing. You know, let's let's prove that actually. Effect at S, invisibility uh, 101. Here is me invisible, but my armor stays visible because Minecraft uses the rule of invisibility that the things you touch don't turn invisible because that's not how invisibility would work in the real world. I mean, I guess it's magic, so it can work how you want it to. But I can see my armor, but I can't see the horse armor. But yeah, the other bug I referenced was one I didn't think would come up in this video, but it's also one of the oldest bugs that's really fun, is the fact that when you play the Java Edition on hard difficulty, you can get spiders with speed, strength, regeneration, and visibility, but you can't on the Bedrock Edition, which I just think is kind of wild. Speaking of kind of wild, we're on the last bug now. What is the oldest bug in all of Minecraft Bedrock? I hear you asking this. I hear you wanting to know the answer from the man uh, who is wearing lots of clothes but not very much else. Uh, I'm doing the exact opposite of flashing you all right now. Um, and so what I want to say is the fact that the oldest bug in Minecraft is one that doesn't make a lot of sense at first glance. So this is MCPE 8101 from March the 23rd of 2015 and it's the fact that oak trees do not replace grass trees with dirt. When you grow an oak tree on grass, it will replace the grass that it grows on with dirt. However, during world generation, oak trees do not convert the grass below them into dirt, which means this is a naturally generated tree. It's not, but you get the point. Um, you know, there, there are some naturally generated trees, and they do not always have the dirt below them, uh, sorry, the grass below them replaced with dirt as they are meant to. It will eventually convert, so it's not like the world's biggest problem, but it is a wild thing that it happens with, right? And so it's something that has to be mentioned. Minecraft's oldest bug is kind of nonsensical, but the second and third oldest bugs are one that I genuinely do notice all the time, and maybe you should too. Speaking of noticing things too, by the way, I, I hope that you've noticed the one uh, fun bug in the background of this video. It is one that is, um, it, it, people send this one to me a lot, so I want to bring it up right now in a bug related video. If you ever see a flying structure of some form, sadly this isn't a seed thing, it is a world specific bug, and so you might be able to find it in your world one time, but not another. Just keep that in mind. Speaking of keeping things in mind, which of these bugs would you like to see fixed? This is a fun question, because I've mentioned the second and the third oldest are ones that are high on my list, but I also also think seeing the minecart changes, or indeed the snowy tundra changes, are ones that would make a big difference to me, but which of these would you like to see fixed, and which of them do you think are so integral to the game that you think it's weird that if they actually did? I'd love to hear from you down below, and I'd also like to say thank you to everyone who supported the Long Boy campaign while it was running. As this video goes live, I think there's literally an hour or two left if you want a last minute get one, but to everyone who bought one, thank you for supporting it. I will actually be buying around 40 of these myself, I don't know precisely what I'll be doing with them, but at some point I might reset sell them, just as a heads up in case anyone is curious, and uh, also in case anyone is curious, I hope that you have learned something about bugs today, because I think that if you want to learn more about Minecraft, this channel is a great place to do that, and I'd appreciate you subscribing or becoming a member to learn more about the channel. Did you know we make a couple of member-only videos a month, and uh, you can see those if you just hit the member button. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for Q&A Saturday. Goodbye!